Without nutmeg, what could we see? What would we be? Nutmeg was introduced to Grenada in 1843 when a merchant ship called in on its way to England from the East Indies. The ship had a small quantity of nutmeg trees on board, which they left in Grenada, and this was the beginning of Grenada's nutmeg history. Following a crop disaster that hit the Dutch-Indonesian trade in the 1850s, Grenada was put firmly on the map as the Spice Isle of the Caribbean as its production of nutmeg was put into overdrive to fill the void. Michael Noel, a farmer by profession, is no stranger to the nutmeg industry. Since 1969, he has hosted a popular radio show called The Banana Corner and later The Nutmeg Tree. In reflecting on Grenada's black gold, he says, nutmeg pay was used in the 1960s, 70s and 80s to build many homes and support families. A lot of what we call the small, the small man, or the poor man, we call them poor man, but not poor. You say the small man, the small man is holding on because at one time you heard about, you knew about the, at the end of the year, the bonus and the nutmeg bonus build houses. Right, in a lot of people um, build houses and other things because of the bonus. From once being number one in the nutmeg trade, Grenada has since dropped to position eight on the international market. Noel says he is not surprised over this development. Eight, we are number one. How is it? How we arrived at number eight spot? Because why? I think the people who should have been, who should do the work, who should perform to make the industry, uh, they call it an industry, but it's not an industry. Really. He added that value added and youth development must be included in the future planning for the nutmeg industry. We have to, the way forward for the industry, for the sector, is that people must accept the industry as the sector as something that is important for the livelihood of, uh, of the country and for the youths. We have to we have to let the youths know that agriculture is the backbone of our country. The young people we must let them know that agriculture the U is the backbone of our country. Despite the challenges, nutmeg remains very dear to Grenadians. In fact, at the 2012 London Olympics, Grenadian Olympic swimmer Esau Simpson created the motto, Respect the Nutmeg. Also after winning the 400-meter race and Grenada's first ever gold medal, the first thing Kirani James did was to kiss the nutmeg embroidered on his uniform.